Okay, now to something a lot of us wear to check texts, take calls. For one Cleveland man, his Apple Watch became so much more than just an accessory. And as News 5's Cameron Justice shows us, it became a lifesaver. I've got my music. I've got, when I go to the gym, I can kind of click on that, select a workout that I'm going to do. Like many people, Ken Cunahan uses his Apple Watch for many different reasons. I am very active and I do, I like to keep track of what I'm doing, calorie steps. I'll take it off and charge it so that I can wear it during the day. When I'm moving around, and I, I wear it to bed as well, keep track of sleep too. It's become part of his daily routine. 95%. But late last year, it took on an even bigger role. I um, got an alert back in October that uh, my breathing was elevated. And his son told him to go see a doctor. They did an x-ray and then gave me some meds for um, bronchitis at the time. At the time, Cunahan thought his watch had simply flagged him about a small illness. Then he got another alert. His blood oxygen levels were low. It was 10 o'clock at night. My wife was very concerned. My son was very concerned. I was like, I just want to go to bed. I'm tired. And they're both like, no, we're going, you got to get to the ER. So they took me back, did a CT scan, and found that I had blood clots all over my lungs. Blood clots actually are, um, can become a life-threatening condition if they're not caught uh, early enough. Um, and so they usually start as a clot in the leg, legs um, or the most common site, um, but they can start technically anywhere in the body. Dr. Lucy Franich works in the Center for Emergency Medicine at the Cleveland Clinic. She says Ken's not the first patient alerted to a problem by their smart devices. We do have patients that come in and, and they do notice these trends of, you know, my heart rate's higher than usual, or it's showing me that I have like, a, there's some apps too with monitoring heart rhythms, I'm having an abnormal rhythm. Um, and so having those pieces of information can, can just help the physician just try and diagnose uh, what the underlying issue is and to help prevent any life-threatening emergencies from occurring. What the doctor said as, as a follow-up was that if I hadn't gone in, he said 60% of the people that have this condition at that stage don't, if I had gone to bed, may not have woken up the next morning. In Cleveland? It saved my life. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. Cameron Justice, News 5. I have a friend that has a similar story to that. Oh, wow, those Apple Watches, I tell you. Now doctors tell us Apple Watches health monitoring features are helpful, but simply cannot replicate the consultation of a true medical professional. So regardless of what the data on your Apple Watch says, if you're not feeling well, if you notice changes to your health, you got to go still check in with your doctor.